Back to your friends, Don and Gino. Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS. And right here in Vault Media Studios. That's right, our custom-built studios just for you. Built right here at Cherry Creek Mortgage. And we have, uh, fortunately, we have AP Production, Mr. Furman, running the controls behind. We have three HD cameras now. they got our backs and showing you what's going on. Uh, you got to check us out at donandgino.com. D-O-N-A-N-D-G-I-N-O.com. That's right. Pull it up on Google. We'll, we're actually as ahead of the pizza places now. How about that? After three years and uh, 150 shows and 300 and something YouTube clips, you should check it out. If you go to DonGino.com, what's really cool is there's so a wealth of information. All our past shows are there. Uh, you click on the YouTube channel. There's 300 and something clips from all these experts that we brought on. Really good information. And we have more experts coming on. In fact, in fact today we have the number one real estate professional for multiple years as long as i can remember anyways mr neil weichel with remax coming on in our next hour to give you a heads up of what's really going to happen in 2014 at least his opinion and i love getting somebody's opinion heaven forbid throw it out there right gino love throwing it out there god knows you do in fact (laughs) christina who we have with us today seems a little shy (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. She's really shy about the boot campaign. <laughs> okay, Christina, we're, gonna, we're, we're so excited to have you part of this. We're so excited to be part of the boot campaign that uh, Gino and I are going to actually step back a little bit and let you and Scott carry this through because you two are so passionate about the boot cam- campaign and put so much effort into it. We're going to let you two kind of share what, how this came about, you started to share it. We had to cut you off. I apologize for that, but it's great info. So let me go back a little bit in the story of why this started and what it's all about. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> so who wants to go first, Scott? You ready? Yeah, no? I'm, re- I'm ready when you are, Christina. You know, I, I think if we <laughs> okay. pick up where you left off, and I'm not sure that everybody okay. got a real sense of, and, and this is what I think is so really unique about what you've done is, um, as I understand the story, the five women that started it, nobody had a real, nobody was married to anybody in the military, nobody had any, any real uh, agenda to help themselves or help something in, in their family. It was really just that, that tugging on the heartstrings, if you will, when you read the book. Right. That, and, and so maybe you could speak a little bit to how these ordinary people sure. came up with such an extraordinary campaign and the, the good that they're doing with it. Okay, so like I said, the five women from Texas, uh, known as the Boot Girls, read the book Lone Survivor, which is written by former Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell. Um, after they read that book, they just felt so inspired. Um, they just had this, this experience that just changed their lives. There's just no other way to say it. They read the book and, talk, you know, it talked about Marcus. You know, he went into Afghanistan with the team, and basically the short of it is that he's the only one that came home, um, and he came home with so many injuries and so many issues that he had to deal with, and he didn't, you know, our VA is great, and and they try to do what they can, but there were just some things that he still needed help with, you know, that the government was not covering, that he was not getting help with. So the Booth Girls said, you know, we've got to come up with a concept. We've got to find a way, you know, to raise awareness, promote patriotism, and raise some funds for the needs of our wounded service members. So they decided to brand a pair of combat boots. Um, and sell them and then donate the proceeds to both other nonprofits that are doing great work for our veterans and also to the programs of the boot campaign that we've designed to try to fill in the gap of what's being offered to our service members. Um, so, you know, we raise funds by selling our merchandise, by selling the boots, by partnering with, you know, wonderful corporations like Cherry Creek Mortgage, uh, fundraisers that we do. Um, and so that's how we're raising our funds that we put into the programs of the boot campaign. You know, Christine, I think it, it amazes, it amazed me, and I think that if the general public really takes a deep understanding on just how big that gap is, uh, that, that, you know, you don't realize that, and I didn't realize, and it was really an awakening to find out, uh, like the gals that started the boot campaign, um, that Marcus and others in his position gave so much and come back right. to... I hate to say, but our, our government provides mediocre services, 
mediocre support for people that were willing to give everything so that we could enjoy the freedoms right. that we do every day. And I just, I, I was amazed that that gap exists and it was so deep. And I think that's why um, when we talk about housing assistance, job assistance, veteran wellness, urgent assistance, family support, you guys go right, right. in and fill those gaps. Yeah, you know how we started was really reaching out to our veteran community and saying, what do you need? You know, what, what do you need that you're not getting? And then we've tried to create the boot campaign's programs based around those needs. So we know that homelessness is a huge issue with our veterans. Last year alone, the campaign gave away 13 mortgage-free homes wow. to service members and their family. 13. Um, you know, and so, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find those gaps and then plug them. We're trying to fill them with programs and, you know, just find ways to give back and say thank you. You know, Christine, I was looking at your website, and, and you guys did a great job of illustrating what website. some of those gaps are. Maybe you could speak to, when we talk about, as it illustrates on your website, why do we do this? Mm -hmm. Give us some of those numbers. Some of the, I, I think I would love for our listening public to hear it just, what, again, what really gave me that awakening is how deep that gap is and, and why you do this. Well, you know, there are hundreds of thousands of veterans in the, in the United States right now that are dealing with this, this uh, phenomenon bad phenomenon called PTSD. Um, and up until recently, you know, the, the United States didn't even know what that term was. As far as the psych psychological world, you know, was concerned, they didn't even know what that was. So we've got hundreds of thousands. We've got hundreds of thousands homeless. We've got veterans that commit suicide, you know, up to 22 a day in the United oh, States. Wow. And it's because they're not getting the care that they need. And those numbers are staggering. Um, you know, we and we can't save every life. I mean, we can't. You know, we can't reach out to every single person that has needs, but I, I'm telling you that this team is committed to, to putting a dent in that. We are going to put every veteran in a home that we possibly can. We are going to give away thousands of hours of free PTSD counseling. Um, you know, we even have a program here at the Bootcast campaign called Brat Pack 11. It was started, you know, by a 14-year-old little girl who came to us and said, you know, I want to support the children who've lost parents that are killed in action. What can I do? And so now that's a, that's a program of the Booth Campaign. We're reaching out to the children, you know, that have lost parents uh, that are, have been killed in action. So yeah, the numbers are staggering, but, you know, we are just bound and determined to do everything that we possibly can and, and find ways to, to fill in those gaps. Christina, how did you get involved with the Booth Campaign? And, and maybe you could tell us a little <laughs> bit about, about your role and what you do for the Booth Campaign. Okay. This is interesting. This is actually kind of interesting. So my husband is a pilot here in DFW. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, he's a pilot who was friends with the founder, Sherry Rulin, one of the founders, one of the original Booth Girls, uh, and actually flew Marcus Luttrell to, to a speaking engagement. Um, and he told me about Booth Campaign and, you know, I'm a girl, I'm, I'm kind of short, I like to wear high heels. Uh, you know, so he's telling me about putting on combat boots, and I'm like, uh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm almost five feet, you know, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, so, but he was really adamant about it. He's like, you've got to read this book. And when I tell you I could barely get through the book uh, because of just what I was reading was hitting so close to home in my heart, um, and, you know, through my own battle with PTSD, not military-affiliated, um, I, I realized after meeting Marcus and the Boot Girls that there is no way, uh, just like they had that spiritual awakening, that I could go back to my life and not do something to give back. So I was actually a first employee of the Boot Campaign uh, back in '09, which is amazing because I've seen this grassroots initiative grow from let's sell some combat boots to a national nonprofit that's really making a difference. Um, so I got involved, and I've never looked back. I've, I've had many roles within the big campaign. I'm now their director of event development and fundraising. So I'm, you know, uh, this is my passion. It's, it's a job, you know, for me, but it's, I, I also volunteer. Um, and I'm so glad that my husband made the introduction because it's changed my life. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. And, and, you know what, and, again, I think um, – it, for those of you listening, if, if you haven't picked up the book, um, you have an opportunity right now to go to the movie theaters and see a dynamic oh, yeah. movie, <laughs> right? Um, in fact, uh, Mr. Yeah. Wahlberg won a global, uh, Golden Globe Award for his portrayal of Marcus Luttrell. 
Um, I, I get goosebumps when I talk about it. If you haven't seen it, um, go see it. It, it is um, it is graphic, um, and it is absolutely intense. intense. Yeah, intense, intense is the best word. Um, and it will really amaze you on what these guys went through and the, the, he- right. the perils that he endured. Uh, and also, I think th- there's a real story there, too, about you know our, our our global humanitarians out there there are people on the other side of this thing that really have a human aspect to and and that's why Marcus is here today and you know he thanks that man that saved his life and that boy today so we'll talk more about right. it I think we got he's, a break he's actually he brought him to, he brought him to the United States several times um, they are actually very close friends which is really remarkable considering the language barrier you know they he doesn't speak any English um, and he comes here, and they spend time together, and they hunt, and they fish, and they shoot together. It's a really, it's a really great friendship. And this is a man who saved Marcus Luttrell's life. It's the reason that Marcus Luttrell is here, um, and has been able to come home and tell the story of, of his comrades that he lost in that battle. Uh, great stuff, so, Christina. It's a moving story. <laughs> Christina, we got one more break to go, and when we come back, Christina, you mind if we go and let everybody know how they can get involved, who all is involved. There's some great people behind the boot campaign, as well as Christina De La Torre and uh, Cherry Creek Mortgage, and we'll let you know how you can get involved and give back and wear some incredible boots and some other great merchandise by giving back to our veterans when we come back to the Donna Gino Real Estate Finance Show. Don't go away. 